Uh, Stephen in Salt Coats, Saskatchewan. Hi, wow, Salt Coats, wow. Do you, what is the uh, genesis of that name, the, the derivation? Salt Coats. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Why do they call it Salt Coats? I have no clue. <laughs> you live there! I Yeah, my entire life, I've never asked. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's true. You know, I don't know. I live in Petaluma. Where does that word come from? In fact, no one knows. So, in school, we called it pepper jackets. <laughs> that's good. Hey, pepper jackets, what can I, <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I just bought a HTC Vive. It's currently shipping to me. Oh, how exciting! I bet you're thrilled. I really am. I bought a bunch of VR games on the summer sale for Steam. Good. Oh, I didn't know that. Is that still going on? I got to run in. Yes, they still have going on, I think. So uh, the Vive uh, is a virtual reality headset. And of the of the three big ones that are out right now, uh, the HTC Vive is easily the best for several reasons. One, uh, it, the, it's got Steam behind it, uh, so that means there's a lot of games out and more coming all the time. Two, it comes with paddles. So you have not only the visor, but your hands can be in the in virtual experience. And three, it has cameras, which you position in the two corners of your space, and that means you can move around. Uh, the Oculus Rift has a camera, but you, it really is more of a kind of lean forward, lean back kind of movement. With the Vive, you could take a few steps in any direction, which means so there's some wonderful Vive games that really can you can work up a sweat. They're fun, and they're very, and it's more vivid when you're moving around. So good on you. I, 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 but now you have a pretty heavy duty PC. I see. I would guess. Well, I have a pretty good desktop, but I want to take this around, showing it off to other people. Right. And I don't want to carry my big PC. Mm -mm. Well, I'm no, looking for a laptop. Yeah. So the Vive, I'm, I can't remember what the specs are. I know the Oculus Rift required a NVIDIA 970 or better, and that's by the way not the 970M, the mobile 970, but the desktop 970 so you're going to want a laptop that has desktop class gpu in it i would guess okay uh and certainly they're made the other thing that can happen and this we saw this at computex which was the big computer trade show a few months ago in taiwan number of companies basically made backpack pcs the idea being you know with with the oculus rift and the vive you're tethered to the computer there's a wire coming off of your head it's a fairly long tether, but it's you, you could trip over it. It's still there. The idea that of these backpack PCs is you plug them into them, and now you're fully mobile, and there's no wire for you to trip over. So, but as far as I know, those are not out yet. Um, I I would guess if you go to HTC Vive's site, let me just see what they uh, what they're <laughs> saying in terms of uh, specs. I would guess it's very similar. The Vive has, I would say, slightly better uh, looking um, screen. Yeah, they say also a GeForce and uh, GTX um, N70 or Radeon R9 280 equivalent or better, i5 equivalent or greater, four gigs of RAM or better. It's a pretty hefty desktop. We had to build one for the uh, for our uh, our ultimate. VR gaming machine, and we put in the uh, uh, 980 Titanium. But I'll tell you this: at least so far, the games, the minimum specs are adequate, are more than adequate. You don't get a, you know, a lot of times with video gaming, if you don't have the top of the line graphics unit, you have to lower the quality settings. Not the case with the with these uh, VR uh, games, so far anyway. They're all lowest common denominator. They're all guaranteed to give you the same results no matter what you're using as long as you're up to the minimum specs. So don't feel obligated to get a 980. A 970 would be fine. Just not a 970M. All right. Does that make sense? Should. Do you know anyone that... Well, there are a lot of gaming laptop manufacturers. Uh, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um... I don't know if, you know, it's a, there's Alienware. There's so many of them that specialize in this. Uh, I would guess because of these the advent of these virtual reality helmets that somebody would be doing this. Alienware does have an Oculus. Wait a minute, let's see. Here it is. Alienware. 
Let's see, they have an Oculus desktop, Oculus Ready PC desktop. I don't see one for a laptop, but I I know there are laptops that have uh, desktop clap. Aren't there desktop class GPUs in them? Maybe not. You know, these things are, not only are these cards uh, big, they generate a lot of heat. That might be challenging on a laptop. You might be better off, I wonder if you'd be better off getting a, um, like a shuttle style case that hmm. that would be portable but not laptop portable how portable do you need it to be honestly i have a full atx case i don't like carrying that around no obviously <laughs> yeah but if you had like a little shoebox size case like a like one of these uh ntx cases let's see yeah that'd be probably that might, that might be all right cool. right well um, especially with the new 1080 and all that out yeah well, you know, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask the chat room. Do, does anybody make a laptop that is Vive? By the way, it could be Vive or Oculus ready. It's the same specs for both, interestingly enough. Doghouse systems, they make great gaming systems. I wonder if they have... Uh, we've used some of their doghouse uh, desktops. Um, let's see if they have a laptop. Well, I mean, I'm just going to leave it to you to uh, to do the work. Alienware, somebody's saying, a uh, guy smiling in the chat room saying, Alienware does have uh, Oculus Rift Ready laptops. So that's what you're looking for. It doesn't have to be Vive Ready. Oculus Rift Ready would be enough. And again, the 970 is probably the the best thing. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Scooter X, our chat mod, pointing to a Tech Radar article, the five best VR laptops, Rift Ready laptops. There you go. And um, right. one is the Origin Eon 17 SLX. That has a 980 in it. Wow. <laughs> it's also a 17-inch display because, you know, you might as well make it a big screen if you're going to do that. Alienware makes a shuttle size uh, case uh, with a GTX 980 in it as well. That would be portable enough. Uh, the MSI GT80 Titan, a truly monstrous mobile gaming rig, with dual 980 cards in it. All right. Again, you don't need to buy more than the base, than the than the the minimum specs. Uh, Ryan Shroud, who works at PC Perspective and is my consultant on all of this, um, they you know build different machine builds, the ultimate dream machine and the low cost machine. In his tests with a variety of machines, none of the games looked better on higher end hardware. As long as you match the minimum spec. The game will look as good as it's going to. Now, that may not be the case next year, but but for all the games, the crop of games this year, that's it. You know, you're going to have a lot of fun. Limit your exposure to, you know, half an hour at a time because you can, you can get uh, virtual reality sickness pretty easily. 8888-ASK-LEO is the number. We'll put all this in the show notes, techguylabs.com. That's a website that's free, open, no sign-up required. And every uh, answer to every question is there. TechGuyLabs.com.